Hello my friend and welcome to this new video so in this video we are going to talk about how we can convert an integer to a string in assembly and then print it using write syscall so let's get started but before diving into the code I, I have to explain to you something so this is the number that we are going to work uh, it's 42 all right as you probably know the write syscall doesn't print numbers it's basically print numbers because if we see for example uh, you are passing to the syscall right hello for example and let's go to ask a table we are passing to it the hello world yeah so hello it just for example this num this character h it's a, it's a number it's it's called the ascii of this character so all these are just a like a symbols what we need to do is to get the ascii of those numbers symbols all right so the question is how we can get the ascii of these numbers from the numbers itself it's so simple we just add 48 so for example if we take this number 2 so we take it like this so 2 plus what plus 48 give us what give us 15 so let's go back to our uh, table so like this so if we see 15 is the ascii code of the two symbols that's it we well, have just to add to each digit just the, the number 48 and then take the ascii and store it in this array like this and then we are going to check the other digits and then add 48 like this check the result and store it in the array and then call the right score and print the whole thing all right i hope you understand the logic that you are going to follow in this video all right so let's go back to our editor so we are going to open a file or create a file main.asm so uh, first thing we are going to need is to declare an array all right so i'm going to declare the section of bss and i will name it for example buffer and reserve bytes so, so here we are just reserving bytes how many bytes we want to reserve 10 so what will happen now well we are like reserving 10 bytes in this area in the memory which is called dot pss all right so we are going to do the section dot text then our label global start then our start label like this all right now before also dive into the code i need to explain to explain to you what we are going to do technically all right so the question is how we can get each digit by itself and do the operation on it it's easy we have just to divide by 10 so here i have to explain to you something when we, when we divide by 10 we get two things the first thing is the result and then the second thing is the reminder so in this operation the result is four like this and then the reminder which is two this is the important thing in this operation so these two we are going to take it like this and add it in a register or let's do it again and add it in this bro come on add it in this register like this so and in this register we're going to do our operation so 2 plus what plus 48 the result that we are going to take from this operation we're going to save it like this in the end of this array and then uh, later i will explain to you why we should start saving the results from the end and then moving backward and saving and filling up the previous element in this array i will explain to you later all right so this is the operation we're going to take uh, we're going to divide by 10 take the digit uh, which is the reminder do the operation and then save in this array all right i hope you ex i hope you understand this now let's do it so we're going to start by setting up my registers so move rx and my number which is 42 then move rbx 10 which is the divisor all right then move rh 0 I, I will explain to you also later why i should uh, we are going to need this rh all right then i need to get the address of the buffer so move rsi buffer but here the important thing we're going to start from the end so we're going to do buffer plus nine all right so this is gonna be like this so let's remove all this all right it's gonna be like this so the rsi the rsi will point in to the last element in this array and then when we add an element like this 
then we are going to make this RSI register point to the previous element and so on until we fill up this whole uh, array all right now let's continue so move RSI buffer then we're going to start our loop so uh, our loop I'm gonna name it like this then convert loop I will name it like this all right so the first thing is XORing the RDX XOR RDX and I, and I will explain to you why then our important instruction which is a div div rdx now let's take a moment again and explain what is this div instruction and i think it's a little bit of confusion all right so this is our div instruction i am sorry for my writing so it takes it need not take it need three things the rx register like this then the rdx then uh, let's name it also the rbx but it can be a variable like we can it's, it just need uh, the register that is hold the divisor so i'm going to write here divisor div or just div all right so what's going on here the rocks it's hold the number so for example here 42 then the div take the number from this rocks register and then divide it by the rbx so in this case the rbx hold 10 so 42 divided by 10 it's equal to 4 here the important thing it take the result and save it also in the rx register so rx hold in the first the number then it hold the result and the important thing also is the reminder the reminder is saved in the rdx register so this is why we need in the first of uh, so this is why in every loop we need to exhort the rdx to remove like the previous value and add the new value like this all right so i hope you understand this then here uh, i am going to do a comment like this to show you so here bro come on like this so rx equals what equals 4 because we divide by we divided by 10 then the rdx equals what equal to 2 good then what we said we have to add 48 to this number so i'm going to do add dl 48 so this dl is like a small part in this rdx register which is exactly hold this number 2 and uh, it's also named the 8 low bit all right then what we need to do also we need to to take this value and put it right here in the array all right so i'm going to do move byte rsi and our value all right so here this move byte rsi it's like saying that i want to move a one byte to this location in the memory all right there's a lot of things a lot of options we can do word or anything like this up to 16 bits or 32 bits i don't know so in this case we are just moving one byte all right then as we said we have to make the point which is the rsi pointing from here moving backward and pointing to the previous element to save the other number all right so we're going to do an instruction called decrement so decrement uh what the rsi like this then we're going to increase the rh and i will tell you later why we, sh we should uh, increase every time in the loop the rh register then we are going to do a simple comparison we we'll compare if the rocks equal to zero all right to finish the loop jump if not equal so if uh, the rocks not equal to zero it means it still have numbers to divide and to add in the array so we're going to do go back to the loop and do the operation again and this while loop will be working until the number equal to zero like this all right so now we have just one thing to do is to print our result so move rx1 move rdi1 so this is the number so rx hold the number of uh, this is called right this call and this rdi hold the file description which is in this case std out then the important thing and the funny thing which is i'll explain to you i need to explain all right so uh, as we said the rsi uh, we made it point in the first to the last to the last index in this array so rsi is pointing right here then when we add a number for example here we make the rsi to point to the 
previous elements in this array like this and then we add the number four then we make it also uh, point to the previous element and so on so in this case uh, so in this case the as i it's already pointed to the first element of the string that we want to print so it's already carrying the pointer of the beginning of the string that we want to print which is here like this all right so we don't need to do move rsi rsi so it's like it's like nothing so we can just do a comment like this all right then we need the length this is why i increased uh, every time the array to hold the length of how many like this we have here or or how many bytes we want to print all right so i'm going to pass array then simple thing we we'll have just to like then simple thing we have just to call our syscall like this and then don't forget to do the exit syscall exit syscall like this move rx16 and then call our syscall like this all right let's compile nothing we have no problem compile link sorry and then our program here there is the problem all right if you know the problem please uh, write it in the comments and all right i am waiting for you to write it in the comments the problem here all right this is the code if you wanna uh, so i am waiting for you to see the problem and write it in the comments why we printed just four and not the whole number all right let's see so here as we said uh, in the first case so let's come back to our code so here in the first case all right let's move this in the first case the rsi point this place we fill it then we move backward to the previous element like this so here in this case we have divided the four uh, by ten and the remainder is four all right and in this line we added the number four in this place in the array all right then here's the, here's the problem we decrease the rsi so the rsi went from pointing to this place to pointing to the previous place which is hold nothing which is empty all right so this is the problem so the solution is just to make it also moving forward and make it to point to the beginning of the real string that we are to print so what we're gonna do we have just to like when the loop will finish we are going to do increase rsi like this so now let's see nasm link and run our program and it's working well now let's do more tests All right like this nasm link and run so this is was our video i hope you enjoyed so see you in the next video peace